quarantine is not a fun time for anyone. The last thing anyone wants to do is be stuck inside all day by themselves. Of course, you can still spend time inside your home. There's plenty of cool games out there for you to enjoy. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah here, and today on Android Tools, we're gonna be counting down our top picks for the 10 best Android and iOS games to play while in self-quarantine. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. Starting off at number 10, we have Reflex Unit 2. This is an intriguing strategy title that gives you a variety of futuristic mechs to utilize in your fight against a new robot invasion. The story here follows on from the events of the first game, where the conflict ends about as well as it could. So, a new threat has arrived in the form of an even larger army of killer drones. You'll likely start out by sinking your teeth into the campaign mode. Here, you can hone your skills, hunt for hidden mech parts, and work your way through the different difficulty modes. An aggressive approach to combat is just as valid as playing it stealthily. Or you could use a mixture of the two to keep things fresh. Moving on to number 9, we have Real Rally. Real Rally is a rally racing game with drift mode and other features. So at the wheel of fast cars, overcome dozens of tracks with different road surfaces, including asphalt, sand, gravel, and mud. You can choose from three management methods, activate the most convenient of them to demonstrate outstanding results. You're guided by the signs and voice navigations of the co-pilot, which informs the player in advance how to act before starting turns and difficult sections. For example, to reduce the speed to acceptable and pass the track without leaving the road in accidents. Because it's important to overcome the distance in the shortest possible time. Breaking into number 8, we have Super Mecha Champions. So this is a multiplayer action game that's similar to PUBG and Fortnite. Once again, you're facing off against up to 100 opponents until only one person's left alive. But there is a slight twist. You get to feel the thrill of exciting non-stop matches as you jump behind the controls of gigantic robots, just like an Evangelion. As might be expected, the gameplay is also similar to other Battle Royale titles, and it's up to you to survive and outlast all your enemies on an island that gets smaller and smaller as you play. In order to survive, you'll need to pick up as many weapons as you can, scattered all over the island. Next up at number 7, we have Disorder. Disorder is a squad-based action game where you fight against up to 100 players. Face non-stop action in this hero shooter as you join forces with four others to form a squadron of five players. The overarching approach of this NetEase game places you on the year 2030, where different factions face off in the fight for nuclear energy, money, and of course, resources. This game is very similar to Apex Legends in terms of the kind of aesthetic feel and both ambiance and game systems that it offers users. As is common, each of the characters in Disorder comes with their own set of skills and traits. Not too far off from other third-person shooters. Moving on to number 6, we have Sky Children of the Light. This game is essentially a multiplayer game with many RPG elements. Here, you'll join the sacred group of the Children of Light, who's blessed with amazing powers that they can use to help the world. During your journey, you'll have the chance to use your flying abilities to discover the massive lands in the game, travel to varied locations and experience unique stories, meet up with new characters and advance your stories. On top of that, the game is built surrounding the multiplayer gameplay, thus allowing gamers to work with each other and groups relatively easy. Moving on to number 5, we have PES 2020. PES 2020 is the latest version of this amazing Konami soccer simulator for mobile. Unlike other games with similar names, this time you can control every player on your team when you play matches. Just like when you play on consoles and computers, the gameplay is perfectly adapted to touchscreen devices. You can choose between two different modes, classic, with virtual buttons, and another one that's a little bit more modern. No matter what you choose, you can make walls, send it deep, take shots, do bicycle kicks, or cross the ball towards the goal. Basically everything you could do if you were actually on the field yourself. <laughs> Next up at number 4, we have Pascal's Wager. Pascal's Wager is an action role-playing game with a style of dark fantasy. This game provides you with top-notch picture quality and a feast for the senses that the mobile platform has never had before. 
so you can play multiple characters to experience the strong storyline and reveal various hidden areas of the map. Along the way, they will fight for unbelievable enemies, confront epic bosses, and embrace overwhelming death and truth. All the while, they'll be engrossed by a magnificent soundtrack performed by a world-class orchestra. Overall, this is one of the best RPG games that you'll find on a smartphone. Coming in at number 3, we have Marvel Super War. Marvel Super War is the multiplayer action game that challenges you to participate in 5v5 battles with characters from the Marvel Universe, a super fun MOBA that's similar to Arena of Valor or Mobile Legends, except that this time you get to control Hulk, Thunder, Thor, Black Widow, and uh, other comic characters. Enjoying Marvel Super War is easy if you're already familiar with the genre since this is a MOBA in every sense of the word. Your objective here is to destroy the enemy's base and to do so you'll have to destroy a few towers and turrets that are there to protect it. As you can already imagine, you'll also have to make sure that your enemy doesn't destroy your base. Next up at number 2 we have Dead by Daylight. This is the mobile adaptation of one of the most iconic multiplayer horror games. Just like its PC and console versions, four survivors are out to escape from an assassin who possesses supernatural powers. Your enemy will do everything in their power to get rid of all of you. As you can imagine, the survivors and the assassin are player controlled. In the game, you'll have to pick different survivors and assassins. But that's not all. You can also equip your characters with a bunch of different decorative elements that'll help you customize your character's look. The skins of some of the assassins definitely stand out because they're inspired by some of the most iconic horror film characters. And finally at number 1 we have Shadowgun War Games. Shadowgun War is a multiplayer first person hero shooter that's clearly inspired by Overwatch. This time you get to compete in several different game modes including Capture the Flag and Team Deathmatch. Plus, you can either play with your friends or against random players from around the world. The games feature five different heroes so far, which their own unique arsenal of weapons and skills, but there are only three characters available when you start playing. You can also unlock the rest as you continue to gain experience and level up. Plus, you can also get new skins for your favorite heroes. So that's it you guys, if you found this video interesting, then please leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Once again, I'm Sarah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>